Hey everybody, welcome to Victory Post Game here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I'm Greg Sykes, and I hope that you have enjoyed today's game. It was definitely one of those uh, games, I tell you. Um, uh, thank you for joining us here. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can do so by hitting the red button. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. With that said, let's get into today's video. So, post game report here. So, the Washington Football Maniacs, Commanders, Redskins, whatever you want to call them. Um, first win of the season, uh, first game of the season, uh, playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, of course, uh, the Washington Commanders uh, and Carson Wentz came up with the victory. Um, however, it was kind of a back and forth game. Uh, the Commanders uh, jumped out to a 14 to three uh, lead earlier on. Uh, the defense, the defensive line, played really well. They got after um, Trevor Lawrence, pressured him all day, knocked him off of his timing. Uh, got to him, sacked him a few times, really, you know, uh, disrupted uh, Trevor Lawrence a lot in that first half. Um, you know, Trevor Lawrence also, he had some guys who dropped some passes. Jacksonville could have scored some more points. Um, but, you know, I will give the defense some credit, though, because, you know, whenever you see a quarterback having to throw the ball just a little bit sooner than what they what he would like to it's usually because he's getting pressure and that that front four there was definitely getting pressure to trevor lawrence um you know jonathan allen had a big day today um deron Payne played really well um, you didn't hear a lot from sweat but sweat made his presence known in there as well just a big day. Um, we're still waiting to hear, though, some bad news with uh, Fedorian. Um, oh, Fedorian. Forgot his last name. Uh, he got injured. Um, we're waiting to hear what the news is on that. It's a knee injury. I'm afraid of what it may be. Uh, let's just hope that it's not going to be... Um, what I think it is, but in all likelihood it could be. Uh, so let, let's wait and see what um, we hear for uh, Phil. Secondary, as I kind of thought the secondary, they continued to be a liability. I said it on Twitter, I was like, the secondary is a liability. Um, you know, they, they individually, you, you have some guys back there who can make some good plays. Derek Forrest, man, he he's a beast. He he laid the the wood out there today. He he played his his heart out today. He made some great plays. Of course, he had the the game ceiling interception at the end of the game. Um, but he had some big hits out there. He played well. Um, but overall, the secondary, I, I tell you, um, they. They really are a liability, um, and that's going to be something that I think is going to carry on throughout the season. Um, you know, you, you just you just really want to see a secondary that can shut down some receivers. They can't seem to shut down receivers. They seem like they're there, but you know, you have these these guys who who you know they draw penalties pass interference calls they hold the receivers and it's stuff like that you know it's either that or they just plain out they, they get burnt and we just right now we our secondary is a liability um, there were some mismatches also that uh, we had uh, with uh, Jamie Davis uh, with uh, Kirk back there as well I mean you put Davis up against a wide, speedy wide receiver like that. Speed wide receiver is going to beat Davis. And, uh, you know, it's not Davis's fault. He's a linebacker. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a solid player, but there was just a mismatch that 
really there needed to be some adjustment with that. And um, just wasn't really a lot of lot that Jamin Davis could really do about that. Uh, but overall, I thought that Davis had a, you know, he played pretty well. Um, you know, he, he got a sack there with uh, Trevor Lawrence, only to be wiped out by a defensive penalty in the secondary. And that is what really got uh, Trevor Lawrence and company down the field a lot of times uh, was that secondary. Just just awful play in the secondary. Uh, the front four, though, A-plus for the, the front four. I would say B-C for probably uh, the linebackers. Um, you know, the running game, they got Jacksonville got the running game going. Uh, the running game was, was pretty solid for them. Um, and, you know, that was going to kind of be expected. Um, but, yeah, again, you know, if you give Trevor Lawrence some time, he is going to make some plays. Luckily, uh, the offensive, uh, or the, I should say the defensive line for the commanders was pressuring him, wasn't giving him a lot of time. But, you know, as the game progressed, as, you know, the defensive line was getting kind of winded there, Lawrence was getting some plays, he was getting some protection, and he was he was starting to make it look easy. And you could, you could tell there was definitely a, a swing in momentum there. And especially when Carson Wentz, you know, tell of two quarterbacks, right? Carson Wentz, Played very smart in that first half. I mean, looked like a solid veteran quarterback like he should be in that first half. Second half came out, uh, didn't play very well there. Uh, you know, threw some ugly interceptions, almost threw three interceptions there. Um, that one interception um, with uh, Jacksonville's uh, rookie, that was just, you know, just flashed in front of him, picked it off. I mean, it was just one of those deals. Luckily, Carson um, put that out of his mind, came back on the next drive, played well, and then threw that strike to Terry McLaurin, who Terry, you know, wasn't really involved in the offense a lot today. Had just two catches. One of those was that touchdown catch, though. Um, but it goes to show you the talent that the commanders had I knew that they were going to be very talented and loaded uh, with the wide receiving core, and that was, <laughs> I was not lying. Uh, Dotson, as advertised, man, two touchdowns for him today. Um, Curtis Samuel, though, a career day for him. I mean, Curtis Samuel, man, I don't ever want to hear any complaints about Curtis Samuel again. I mean, Curtis is back. And he is definitely going to be a weapon for us. Um, so, so happy with the day that we had from Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson was just outstanding today. Um, didn't fumble. He held on to the football. And one thing is that when he ran the football, he hit the holes hard. He didn't dance around uh, like it seems like he does. And that's when he gets in trouble. And that's when he starts to fumble the footballs. He held on to the ball. He hit the, the holes hard. You know, he just had a tremendous day today. And we are going to need, you know, games like that from Antonio Gibson while uh, Robinson is out recovering. So it, it was just, I was glad to see that, you know, um, J.D. McKissick had some good plays in there as well. Um just, just great, great days out of the backfield. You know, uh, Curtis Samuel lined up as a running back every now and then. Had some positive plays there. So overall, the offense, you know, the offense in general just really had, I mean, a solid day. Uh, yeah, you know, they they came out flat there in the the third quarter. Made up for it in the fourth quarter when they had to. Uh, you know, their backs were against the, the wall there, and they they responded. So that was the good thing. They were able to respond when they fell behind. That was the good thing with this team because they could have easily just folded it, folded it in, and just let Jacksonville win. They didn't. 
Um, you know, if we go and we take a look at the stats here, um, so, of course, Carson Wentz, he was finished the day at 27 for 41, 313 yards, four touchdown passes uh, to two interceptions. Antonio Gibson, um, he had uh, 14 uh, carries, 14 carries for 58 yards. He averaged 4.1 per carry. Um, Curtis Samuel, he had four carries for 17 yards. Uh, Carson Wentz, he carried the ball a few times as well for 12 yards. J.D. McKissick had three carries for eight yards. Uh, receiving, uh, again, Antonio Gibson had seven receptions for 72 yards. Terry McLaurin, the, the two receptions, but he did have one touchdown there. Uh, Curtis Samuel, eight receptions today. Logan Thomas, um, I was so happy to see him out there. Uh, he had three receptions. J.D. McKissick had three receptions. And uh, that really rounded out everybody who had receptions today. Curtis Samuel, though, yes, he did fumble. Um, and, you know, that. so overall we turned the ball over three times, I believe. Um, Derek Forrest, of course, he was the one who um, had that game ceiling interception uh, for the Washington Commanders. Um, so, yeah, overall, I mean, uh, you know, it was, <laughs> it was one of those games where, you know, it started off and it's like, wow, okay, we, we finally can see a team that is turning the corner. You know, we're a team that is loaded on offense and still doesn't have everybody just yet back on offense. Um, but you can already see the talent and doesn't have everybody back on defense either. And, you know, getting pressure to the quarterback. Um, not quite stuffing up the runs, though. Um, they did allow some, some running lanes there. Um, and, you know, but then it was, you, like I said, you got into the third quarter, and it seemed like that's when, you know, there are halftime adjustments, the defense gets tired. Jacksonville started making their stand, started making their run. And then suddenly Carson Wentz, he kind of breaks down. He starts, you know, throwing interceptions, making some bad judgments and some, you know, overthrowing some passes and, and all this. And suddenly, as a fan, you start to say, oh, uh oh, here we go again. Here we go again. It, it is the same old. Washington team that you know we have uh, you know big plans for and then they wind up being the same team that they always seem to be and I was really thinking that and I was you know I was thinking to myself when I do this video win or lose I'm like all right you know I'm gonna have to try to come up with some positives um, and it's always easier to come up with positives when you come out in victory but um, definitely the positives I will say is that, um, you know, Antonio Gibson held on to the ball. Uh, John Dotson is as advertised. Wide receivers are awesome. Um, you know, we're loaded in the backfield and we'll be even more so when Robinson comes back. Uh, the offensive line held up. Um, Carson Wentz, uh, despite... Uh, having kind of an up and down day, finished strong, um, had four touchdown passes. I think he's going to be okay. You're just going to expect that he's going to make some boneheaded plays, but overall, he's 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 going to give you the best chance to win. I believe um, the d defensive line they got pressure to the quarterback. You could see it, and they're only going to get stronger as things progress. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Jonathan Allen is okay. Um, Fedorian Mathis, I, I don't know. That's, that's going to be the bummer. I, I believe he's, I'm, I'm really fearing that that may be an ACL. Uh, but um, hopefully Jonathan Allen is okay. Uh, when we get Chase Young back and sometime in 
probably November. That's going to rejuvenate that defensive line even more. Uh, but the secondary, that's some of the negatives. Secondary is still going to be a liability for us. Maybe we're going to see some difference when Cam Curl comes back next week. Uh, but Derek Forrest, he played well. So I don't think that was the problem. I think your problem is still, honestly, it's still Jackson, William Jackson. It, it's still uh, Bobby McCain at times. Bobby McCain is just not good in coverage. Um you know, I mean, it, it's just it's stuff like that. You know, it's these guys who they get burnt, so they they hold, um, they do pass interference. I mean, you know, they just try to get away with what whatever they can, and you know that that's just that's just how it is. Secondary's toast, and we just right now even Fuller didn't have that great of a day. Um, Fuller is our best corner, and he had. Yeah, it just had a bad day. Um, so overall, I, I you know I give my secondary an F. Um, I really think if our secondary is just sl any slightest of improvement, um, I think that would go a long ways. But I think as long as that our secondary plays like it did, we're going to have some trouble. Um, you, you can get some some pressure on the quarterback, but you know, he's going to have a chance to make some big plays downfield. Um, you throw those 50-50 balls, and you're going to have a good chance at making some big plays against the, against the secondary. Overall, you know, the impression is I think this team has the ability to win some games. Uh, right now, you know, people feel like this is a, you know, seven, maybe eight win team right now I think they can win eight eight games uh, it really depends on can the secondary clean up its act that's really where it is and um, you know injuries we already had two injuries to what I consider high profile people uh, Fedoria Mathis and um, you know Jonathan Allen so we're, we're going to have to see how that is. Uh, what do you think, folks? I'm happy we're starting off. We're 1-0. Uh, next week, we go to Detroit, which, you know, got their, their hind ends beat today by the Philadelphia Eagles. So, you know, they're, they're going to be looking for retribution. So, you know, hopefully, maybe the commanders can continue on. And, you know, this is going to be a thing is going to be a test to see, you know, how good was Jacksonville actually today? You know, how much have they actually improved under uh, Doug Peterson? I think that will, you'll see that as you go along. Um, and then, you know, how bad is Detroit? You know, are the Eagles really that good? These are the storylines because it means something to Washington because if Washington comes in and they struggle and they and they have a very close game against Detroit, uh, win or lose, then you're looking at, yeah, okay, even if they're 2-0 but they barely beat Detroit, um, yeah, they're, they're going to have their hands full against somebody like the Eagles because obviously the Eagles look like they had an easy time against Detroit today. So, you know, I, I just um, I just really feel like that we got some some work to do. Um, you know, it, it was definitely um, a nail biter <laughs> there for a little bit. Um, you know, tell of two games there for a little bit. But the good thing is Carson Wentz bounced back, which is something you want to see with your quarterback. Um, the team stuck together. They came back, they won as a team, and they finished the Jacksonville Jaguars off for their first win as a Washington Commanders. So there you go. Let me know in the comments section what you think, what you thought of the game today. Um, it's Victory Sunday, so just everybody soak this in and enjoy it. Um, I, I think that you know this is a good start for us overall. Um, let's just take it, you know, we'll discuss this more throughout the week. Having said that,
please consider subscribing again to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here. Um, please, please, please share this video, like this video, um, just, you know, uh, comment. Uh, let's, let's talk about this game, shall we? And if you really want to support this channel, you can support it um, by this. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let